here with uh, three of the GB team who've just completed the long race. None of you look that tired. So, uh, Ben, first of all, how, how's it been the three days? Uh, it's been great. I mean, I didn't have a perfect relay race. I made me mistake on first control, so that was a bit of a wake-up call. <laughs> Quite, uh, I mean, in both races we've started downhill each time, and uh, it seems like an easy control, but there's so many different features to... There's so many boulders that it's really difficult to pick out which one the controls are going to be on. I found that quite tricky. And this, I tried to be careful today and the same thing happened. <laughs> I was quite glad to calm myself down after making that mistake and I got through the tight controls today really well actually. Well done. And, after that, so. <laughs> and um, Hector, you're, we haven't seen you because of course there's been a focus on sprint. So it's yeah. lovely to see you here racing. How, how's it been for you? Ah, lovely to be back of course and uh, fantastic scenery here in Switzerland suits me really good and yeah the two races I was focusing on the relay and the long I was quite good consistent um, no real big mistakes some yeah some really good feeling in, in parts uh, the middle was a bit disappointing uh, could have could have and should have been better than I was but uh, no, I'm pretty happy with overall with the weekend and mostly it's all about the uh, yeah the preparations for next year's world champs uh, get the vibe, get the motivation sky high for the winter now. Very good. And Graham, I overheard you say to someone, uh, one of the planners, I believe, you know, you'd really enjoyed the courses. How, how have you felt your three days has gone? Yeah, well, as soon as I saw that there was going to be a World Cup in uh, Davos, I thought that was definitely one that I didn't want to miss. Uh, I don't do many international races these days, but this was definitely one I thought would be really um, interesting, challenging, fantastic terrain. You know that the Swiss always organise really impressive competitions, and when it's in a place like Davos, it, that's uh, it's just unmissable in the international calendar. I would say. 